Seven, twelve. So we are the Seven, twelve. That you are ready for reproduction. Your body is saying that. However, Islamically, that's not the only factor. Just because you're menstruating doesn't mean you are ready to get married. Because are you mentally ready? Are you sexually ready? So a person has to be asked. And not only that, you cannot cause harm. Yeah? So you cannot cause harm. So the Prophet waited three years for her to become an adult. So we can't take a nine year old today and compare a nine year old 1400 years ago. Yeah. yeah, we are like babies today. Yeah, we're like babies. But women and men back then, they were going to war. They were providing for their family. The women were like, you would have royals. Yeah, I think I've got a book here. I'll try to find it as well. You'll have royal families. Yeah, that were married to 11 and she was uh, widowed at 12. Come yeah? on now. Really? Read this history. Is well unfair, mate. Read, history. Well, exactly. Read history. Read history. Read history. No, I'm not yes, yes, yes. I'm not disagreeing I can, with your content. I can, I can, I can even try to find I'm you. I'm not disagreeing with your content. I'm disagreeing with your One conduct. Second. My conduct? Yeah. What's wrong with my conduct? Well, you've got a mic on the young lady, but you haven't let her speak. I'm listening to him. Oh, that's very fair. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. So, this is a childish behaviour. I'm sorry, this is absolutely... This is absolutely childish behaviour. What are you trying to be? A hero? Yeah, Trying to show chivalry is not dead? White knights. White knights by time. Yes, keep your white knights. Save someone else. Yeah? She came here, she's asking a question. She's listening. Have I stopped you? Did I say, shush! You listen to me, woman. Yeah? I'm the man. Have I done that? No. Oh, cut, cut, cut down yeah, with the drama. Go to drama school. Drama this, 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 this is post-colonial post post mentality. Colonial. We're here to save. Oh, We've come here to save the woman. <coughs> Please, go save yourself. Yeah? Okay. All right. Thank you. So, yes, William Blackstone in his commentary on the English law, published in 1867. Page 110, yeah? It talks about... Girls used to be married, could be married at the age of seven in this country, hundred years ago, yeah? In France, now they've lowered the age to 15, yeah? In Turkey, it's 18. So to Turkey, they look at UK and say, you guys are pedophiles, yeah? You say 16. We will look at France and say, you guys are pedophiles, yeah? Mm. And then I think it's Japan is 20 or 21 years of age. They'll look at all of us and say, you all are pedophiles. <laughs> so the age changes. What Islam says, sister, is that <laughs> Not one shoe fits all. Because you might have a 16 year old British girl who's not ready for intimacy. But law says you can. Yeah. And majority of the girls in this country, let's get it right, at 11, 12 are having sex behind the bushes. Excuse me. Yeah? Just sorry, forgive me, I'm just being blunt. Yeah? They're having sex. They are, they, they, they are, go and watch this documentaries on this teenage pregnancy. Yeah? So the thing here is this the issue, enough, the issue, cool. mature what is illegal. <laughs> but what I'm trying I'm to show you. What you think. No, no, no. What I think. No, no, no. No, 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 no. What I think. What I think. Islamically, a woman is not one shoe fits all. Islamically, oh, yeah. a woman has to be mentally, sexually, physically ready, and there should be no harm factor. Meaning, if having intercourse is going to cause harm, she can't. So what that means is you don't have an age on it. What it means is each individual girl has to be assessed herself. That's why Allah says in the Quran this in Surah so Nisa. Yes, yes, it's very risky for you. Yes, Allah says, can I just finish? Girl, Allah lady. says in the Quran. No, 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 you're, you're missing the point. Yeah, point. We, can't, we, can't, we can't force the girl. Nobody said you can force her. Right. What we're saying is, obviously the mother will have dialogue with her daughter. Yeah? To, see, to see if she's ready or not. They might, and this perception that as soon as she menstruates or reaches certain age, she needs to get married is pathetic. A lot of Muslims, they will say their daughter should study. Nobody has said you need to go and get married automatically, yeah? But what I'm saying is, is that in today's time, Allah says in the Quran, test the orphans until they reach a marriageable age, yeah? And test them, test them for what? For their inheritance, their wealth. So if I adopt a girl or a boy, I have to wait and test them until they reach the, uh, a marriageable age, then I can give them what is left by from their fathers. Allah says in the Quran, test them. So the issue here is this sister, yeah? Islam has came to cater. What was the original question? Uh, why did the Prophet marry Aisha at six? Yeah. So the point here is this sister, yeah? Is that if I am a thief, yeah? I will think everybody's a thief like me. So I will never let you, I will never say to you, can you hold this for me? Because I'll think, oh, okay. she might steal it. No, 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 no. Because no. why? My mentality is that I'm a thief. I steal things, yeah? 
I will never let anyone have something. Why? Because I will think everybody must be like me. So that's why people in this age, because paedophilia is disgusting, and the elites have been in this as well, they've been exposed, yeah? Mm. And majority are white men, yeah? White men in middle, middle age, not all, I'm just saying stats, I'm not saying everyone's like that, yeah? The point is this, what they do is they look and be like, okay, hold on a second, if they are doing that, okay, and if your prophet, if your prophet married at six, ah, he must have won it for the same reasons, false analogy. You can't compare a vile, disgusting man who wants a little child for disgusting things to a man, the Prophet, peace be upon him, who married her at six, that's a contract, and consummated it at nine, three years. Why did he wait three years? Why does somebody who has love for a child, he could say, I'm a Prophet of God. I would like this, I would like this woman, <laughs> I would like this girl right now, yeah? Why did he not do that? Why did he wait three years? Because for her to become an adult, what does that teach us as Muslims? That if my son wants to marry a girl, my son is 18 and the girl is 14, we will say, hold on a second, the legal age in this country is 16. She's not adult yet. The Prophet waited for Aisha for three years. We will wait three years, four years, five years. So those who say, hold on a second, your Prophet is a role model for all times. Yes, he is. And we implement what he did in today's age. So. There's a variety of factors, sister, but Aisha Radiala Anha is the person that can speak for herself. She doesn't need no one to come and rescue her. So, sister, does that answer your question? Is there anything yeah. to say to me? If there's anything to say, I didn't know, I didn't get that. Be honest, I'm, I'm totally fine. No, it makes sense. You, you okay. read it right. Thank okay. you. Is there any... Um, um, yeah, I have another one. Sure, please. Look, I'm here for you all day. <laughs> and, I, and I believe you shouldn't delay your shahada. I'll um, tell you why as well. Okay, yeah. can you explain that then? Okay, let me tell you why you shouldn't delay your shahada. Yeah? Now, sister, look. When I, before I came to Islam, I knew Islam was the truth, yeah? yeah? And I said, to, I, had, I was suffering from my desires, worldly stuff, yeah. yeah? I knew Islam was the truth, but I would say, ah, oh, you know, if I, if I take my shahada now, I have to commit and I have to pray now, and I have to do this and I have to do that, that was stopping me. Imagine if I died in that state, yeah? So the thing is, sister, a lot of people get scared. They think, oh, if I take my shahada, <laughs> You're gonna have like this white light coming here, and then uh, there's gonna be flowers and something uh, strange is gonna happen. Sister, if you take your shahada, all it means is this there was a door, you've been analyzing that door for a long time, you want to go through that door and start your journey. All the shahada means is that you've got the key, yeah, you've got the key, you've opened the door, the yeah. journey starts. Begin that change now. Because at the end of you don't know if you're gonna live. And I can see from your and I can see from you that you seem con con you're convinced. Like not with me, like from what your research you've been doing, sister, you seem convinced, yeah? And alhamdulillah, it's just a journey, yeah? We all have our struggles. Look, we've got our sister here, she's from Belgium, a brother with a husband, we've got other sisters and converted to. Oh here, look, uh, come here. <laughs> what, what are you doing here? I'm at Israel, yeah, come. You wanna come in the middle? Oh yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll Let me go in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If she wants to come, she can. Yeah? Okay. So you came to Islam as well? Yeah. So nine, nine years ago. Nine years ago, yeah? yeah. The sister wants to take a shahada. She had some questions. Did you ever have a... Because me, I came to Islam as well, yeah? Mm -hmm. Five, six years ago. I had a moment where I thought, I want to accept Islam, but my desires and stuff like that. And if I start praying... I, I felt exactly the same what, thing. What, what, what advice would you give when you're a reaver? Me too. Yeah, of course. So cool. And inshallah, you're going to be a reaver today as well, yeah? <laughs> what advice would you give to our sister? Like regarding what made you give the extra push? Me, um, my experience is that uh, oh, yeah. when, when I read the Quran, because uh, I was Christian before, yeah. and uh, I read the Quran, and easily at the first verses I was convinced. Convinced. Wow. I mean, it's it's a uh, it's, it's um, obvious. It was really obvious for me, really. But. Uh, uh, my family was Christian, yeah. my environment was all Christian, and it was really, even interesting, it was a problem for them. Yeah, same, same. I got kicked out of my house. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, for me, it wasn't a good, it wasn't the, 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 a good thing for me to do it, because it was caused a lot of problems. Yeah. And, and really, uh, I, um, the first thing that, that I, um, I, 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 uh, I was sure it was the truth, but, I was saying to myself, I don't want to take that path because it's going to cause, cause me pain, mm. okay? But when you pass through that door, after, you take things easily, yes. and you see it's 
when you, when you when you take that step, you you you, you want to see your heart is going to be you going to feel more more light, lighter. Yeah, wow. because I. I very interesting if there is something when it comes to islam that i also don't agree with is marrying someone i would consider underage not what would what people would consider underage what i personally would consider underage and it's good that she's asking this because it's something she wants to convert but then there's this one thing that's like but why did this happen it's always good to speak to someone who can explain to you and she seems to be um comfortable with his explanation which is interesting very very interesting i i right now i don't know i'm still digesting what he said so far and the examples he's used of white men and like i said i'm still letting it digest let me do the last part of this video Thank you.